Hey, it's Randy Pennington, and here's an idea to get buy-in for goals and change. It's people support what they help create. Now, the principle is simple. The hard part is knowing how to give people that opportunity. So here's a rule of thumb. Give people as much control as possible over the aspects of every goal or change that directly affects them. Now, it may be impossible or inappropriate to involve everyone in every decision or goal. You can, however, give people the opportunity to influence their piece of it. And sometimes it's as simple as asking and then incorporating their suggestions. You see, no one ever argues with their own ideas and opinions. Hope that idea helps. I'll see you next time. Some years ago, a major airline was in trouble and asked their employees to share in the sacrifice to return to profitability. The employees responded in an extraordinary way. Years later, when the airline was making record profits, something went unnoticed. The employees weren't sharing in the success of the company like they had shared in the sacrifice. For someone to buy into the goals of their employer, they need to believe that they'll benefit from doing so that when their employer meets their goals, the employee will meet his or hers goals as well. It's about feeling that when the organization wins, the employees win too. So think about your company's vision. It talks about what your company's success will look like if you achieve your goals and objectives. Why not include a vision statement for your employees? Clarify what they can expect and enjoy when the company succeeds and include things like educational opportunities, improved working conditions, and other perks and benefits. Your company's success will create buy-in when your employees know they will share in the success. How do you get better buy-in from your employees? <laughs> well, here's a novel idea. If you have them engaged all along, they naturally buy into the process. So many times in so many organizations, a small team will make a decision and they send it down the tubes to the, to the rest of the team that have to march in step and follow along. Well, no generation has liked that, and particularly the millennial generation revolts against it. Look, we want to be a part of the process. Everybody does. And so if you want buy-in, why not get people investing from the beginning? Find as many ways as you can to engage your employees so that they're a part of the decision-making process, so that their input is, is not just asked for, but it's truly, deeply valued. People tend to buy in to those situations, those decisions, those things in which they have involvement. How do you get buy-in for your company's goals? How do you get your employees to want to play? to want to be involved, to want to help you achieve more, well, it's really pretty simple. You talk to them about it. You make them feel like they are included. You ask them questions. You show them how what they do for your company actually contributes to the overall bottom line of the company. Most employees feel very left out and that they are doing this little part of the job and here is where they focus. And they don't see that what they're doing right here has major impact on what's going on out there. Get them to look up by showing them that what they do matters to that person. And then what they do that matters to that person matters to that person and how it all is connected. When people feel like what they do is connected to a bigger picture, they will be much more interested. Hey, it's Joe Calloway. So how do you get buy-in from the employees, from the team on a company's goals? Well, let me give you the first two steps for a leader. Step number one, you get absolute clarity on what those goals are. That means you have to keep them simple. Then you have to make it so that there is absolutely no misunderstanding. Everybody understands and gets it. Then number two, the second step is you repeat those goals and you reinforce those goals all the time, never ending, from now on, forever. Talk about them all the time. Listen, in the decades I've been doing this, that's a thread I see in every great company with every great leader. Clarity, repetition, reinforcement. Now, I want to get your buy-in on something. In November, the five friends are going to do something that we've never done before and that, quite honestly, has never been done by anybody before. The five of us are going to meet with you in Las Vegas. 
and we're going to give you ideas on how your business in the real world against real competition with real change taking place all the time, how your company can succeed and grow. This isn't going to be a bunch of lectures, gang. This is going to be the five of us working with a limited group on how to get it done, how to grow and succeed. So go to www five friends business summit.com get the whole story i hope i see you in las vegas have a great day